Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome to Ember Ward, a rogue light tetromino tower defense card building. I'm excited to play it. Game. Uh, it's got super amazing reviews. It's in early access on Steam right now, and we are going to be just diving right in. We'll go with our uh, normal difficulty. And yeah, so they're unlocking, um, or unlocking, uh, releasing updates regularly. They just released this frosty one, so there's a third area now. I don't know too much about this game other than how amazingly it's been reviewed and it looks like my kind of game. So we're gonna we're gonna jump in and just assume they're gonna tell us what to do here. Choose your character, Fairy the Novice. Novice's Perseverance. Your fire source has five extra HP. I assume that's our um like the thing that the creeps are attacking. Choose your gear for this adventure. Ooh. Ooh. Lightning, drone, scrap tower, dart, cannon, flamethrower tower, basic lightning, and frost tower. And other stuff. When you build blocks, the blocks stun nearby enemies, fire towers gain extra critical hit chance, microtransactions. At the start of each level, automatically spend 15 ember stones to receive 30 gold coins. I don't know what any of those things are, but I'm going to pick this one. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I pick one of these two. Well, I have lightning and frost, so burning stuff doesn't sound great. Let's do the aggressive construction. So I guess that's like a perk. Cool. I don't know the difference between these two. The symbol has a crown. Oh, the reward is a tower and a relic, and the reward here is a tower and a block card. Or it's an or. I don't know if it's an or and an and. An or or an and. It's hard to say. All right. So, build a maze. The enemies are coming. Drag the wall card onto the field to control the path of monsters. Wall cards placed during the building phase can be long pressed to be recalled. But once you enter battle, they're locked and can't be recalled. Okay. So, this is good old tower defense. Amazing 101. So I can plop that there. And then plop that one there. And then we're... Uh, making them have to travel a lot further. That one doesn't accomplish much. Maybe I do something like that. Or if I do that, then they kind of come back a little closer to this area. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll go with that. Okay, and our basic tower... Seems like it'd be good right here. Lightning tower. Oh, how much money? I have 40 monies. Good spot for a lightning tower. Fires chain lightning. I like to see that. Maybe another basic tower. And call it a day. The remaining power of your fire. So our fire has 15. Normally would have 10, I guess. And you can draw cards for five coins from your backpack. Oh, that's like your deck. Cool, cool, cool. Let's battle. Oh, they're fast. Oh, I guess it's on the max speed. I don't feel like I selected that. All right, well, that was easy, but that's how you hope the first level is usually. Um, yeah, maybe I screwed up. You kind of want to make them, you know, have to go back and forth. I haven't done a very good job of that. But that's that's decent. And now I need to get something there, so they have to come back up. Frost Tower right there seems like a winner. And maybe another Lightning Tower. Can you upgrade towers, I assume? Yep. You can upgrade to multi-target, plus four damage, plus two fire rate, plus 50%. So that's R and F for two different kinds of upgrades. I'm going to do the F upgrade on that. And there's what we were looking for. An I Tetromino. No, 
I don't think there's a way to make them go up and then back down and then back up. We didn't leave enough width for that, unfortunately. I shouldn't have placed it that way. Well, you live and learn. Um, but something like that should help a little bit. And then this probably has about no use. I guess technically that's a longer path. But that's a longer path, but is that even good? Yeah, maybe. I mean, that it's not going to change much, though. Yeah, I'll just keep it the way it is. All right, let's upgrade damage and fire rate for you. Oh, you pick one of two upgrades. Oh, you don't get to pick both. Ah, so it's the red or the blue. The red pill or the blue pill. All right, what's this? A dragon. Crimson lizard. Looks like we're gonna melt him. Although, they got a lot further than previous enemies. Image plus two, fire rate plus 100%. That seems better. Unless enemies have flat armor. I don't know if they do have flat armor. Which is an interesting distinction, right? Because if they have flat armor, then that means they're reducing the two damage that these are doing. Because these are both the 100% more DPS, right? Firing twice as fast and dealing twice as much damage do the same DPS effect, so having more range seems good. But, again, like I said, I don't know if it... Um, if enemies have flat armor, then that's going to mean they end up taking less damage from the fire rate to increase one. But it seems like everything's taking... Or taking two damage from that. So if there are enemies with armor, none of these have armor. Let me get another lightning tower. Four by four targets. I'm gonna do the blue upgrade, just overall DPS seems great. And yeah, I mean, I think we're... We're doing pretty awesome. Oh, you have to hold space. That's what's going on. To activate the, the level. Alright. Bring it on! I'll even throw another lightning tower here at the end in case anything gets that far. Ooh, he might. The were beast. Oh, he has a stun? That's pretty brutal. Wow, that almost, he almost got through. Okay, so that teaches me I should maybe space out my towers a little bit. Cool. Ember stone. Two by two towers. Interesting. Okay. Each attack fires ten missiles. I like the sound of that. Earthquake tower. Brief stone effects is awesome. Okay, now, what's that? You sell a tower during battle, instead it creates an explosion. Can you build walls with three tiles or smaller? The walls immediately lock in place and you draw a card. Okay, sure. I like the sound of that. Talents. Use the experience points games from adventures to learn various talents. They're permanent upgrades that persist through each run. They can be reset at any time. Okay, like... like what? Superior efficiency. Increase the preparation time before battle. I don't really care about that. But I'm guessing you have to unlock one level of this, yep, to get anything else. So then we'll have experience... Increases... Tower upgrade costs are reduced, that's obviously a great one. Starting gold increase, that's a great one. And chances to re-roll when choosing new towers at the end of a level. Ooh, that's also pretty nice. Okay, select a challenge and complete it in the next level to earn rewards. Interesting. I think at this stage of the game, it's probably better to do more battles. 
I don't really know. But I'm going to go for battle here. Buff tiles. Tiles full of energy will enhance various attributes of the turret when built upon them. The effect of the enhancement varies with the size of the turret. For example, a 2x2 two two size turret will only receive a quarter of the effect. Okay. That makes sense. And here's where mazing is going to start mattering a little bit more. So I want them to come in. So you can't overlap. So I don't know what it meant about the three tiles. When you build walls with three tiles or smaller. Maybe there are cards that we haven't seen. But all of them are, are four pieces. So I don't know what it means with three tiles or smaller. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and block here, and then I'm gonna block here, and that sends them on a magical journey. And I'd like to get that bonus. Attack power increases by a hundred percent. That seems like a good a good lightning tower uh, buff. And then we'll put a frost tower here on the end. Slow things down. Go ahead and start things here. And I'll probably want to upgrade the multi-target for this one. So it can be the ultimate crowd control tower. Oh wow. Those are easy. Easy peasy slimes. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Now... No, no, no. Yeah, I want to send them around that. There we go. There's the real ticket to amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, I'll do another lightning tower. Just do a basic with the upgrade for the range. That seems pretty good. Just go on full speed here now that we kind of know what's going on. Venom Crawler, Stinger Hornet. Oh man, this is making me remember the fond Warcraft 3 tower defense days. I still am confused about the wall with three or less tiles. Maybe, maybe there are cards you get that are, that are like that. That must be the case. It must be. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no way to make them maze this way and then back and then back. So this is so the only thing I can do is kind of a back and forth here, which is not going to be the most effective. But like, that might be good. Oh, I can build out here. Oh, oh, heck yeah. There we go. Now we're really getting them mazed around. There we go. All right, well, we'll do another frosty tower right here. Yeah, that's great. So then they go by this spot completely twice. I'm gonna save up some money for the... Uh... I wanna try that missile tower. That thing seems sweet. And it does seem like the, the bouncing of the, whatchamacallit, has a limited area. But yeah, I definitely want to upgrade the range of the frost tower. And then... Then what? Why not? Whoa, that's big. Missile tower is almost global. Jeez. Okay. Increase damage, but decrease missiles convert to fire damage. But it makes it splash flashy and this makes more missiles convert to ice damage and that so that's like a map control and that's a map I think I'll go for the map controlling one probably uh oh okay we need to we need to get another couple blue lightning towers here oh geez those almost leaked through 
All right, we're gonna do the fire damage one. Actually, I think more damage is good here. That was stupid. Long press to recall the block. Thank you. Give me a chance. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, we'll do some basic mazing here. Yeah, I mean, really, we just need more damage, more lightning. I don't think I want more of the multi-target. Hmm. That one more range. Let's battle. This game is sweet. So far, I'm loving it. Can recommend, based on early impressions. Oh, the trees burn. That's fun. Oh, I've got two were beasts. Dang. Aha! Stun you with my ability, aggressive construction. Okay, they ended up not being that big of a challenge. Not to worry. Okay, and I can build that there. Make another missile turret. Make another missile turret. I'll just make a billion missile turrets, because that's awesome. You can hold shift to build the same tower continuously. Alright, good to know, good to know. But yeah, I mean, they deal they deal pretty decent damage. 30, I guess it's 10 DPS. Which is, these are 6 DPS, so maybe that wasn't the most efficient way to do it. But I'll do an ice damage one. Just to keep everyone slowed down. That's probably... You should probably have one of those on every map once you have the missile tower. That's my guess, anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. All right. I'm in. Select a rune. Ooh. Attach runes to block cards to gain special bonuses. Blocks with runes can create buff tiles or provide other additional effects. The more squares a block has, the more runes it can have. Oh. Greater range. I mean, probably greater speed is the way to go. Now, does that affect all of those in my deck or just one of them? Poison dart. Inflicts damage over time. Damage for each tick increases with the total accumulated damage. I feel like a poison tower at the start of a maze is a good thing. Because it probably deals more DPS on average than, than my other towers. Right? Like, that deals... 5 DPS compared to the 3 of that one, and they're the same cost. But it's slower damaging, so you want to get that at the beginning. And then frost towers to slow them down. Ooh. Oh, oh my. Okay, there's a lot of interesting... I might need to draw some more cards, actually. Oh, you draw one card. Okay. Well, there's my greater speed rune. I definitely want to block off that way. Do I? Yeah, I think so. And we'll have them come in this direction to start. What I'd like is to get the damage and the speed on a missile launcher. So maybe I'll start with this one here. And then I'll put that one there. And then we can get them both on a missile tower. That sounds pretty cool. All right, we're gonna start like this. Yeah, so at least they all... Oh, no, I didn't see there's another path over here. Oh, my goodness. Um, this should be okay. We'll be okay. Basic towers for the win. It's only six angry bees, which have, like, what? Zero health? They have eight health. Uh, except... We might be in trouble. <laughs> ah! Okay, that was close. 
Surprisingly close. All right, draw a card. Oh, they already gave me more cards. I didn't need to pay for that. Whoops. All right. So now we block off this area just to guarantee everybody takes the same path. And now we can start mazing. The amazing mazing. So we'll build around this way. And I'll just have to do it like this. There we go. Frost tower. That seems perfect. And I mean, the frost tower actually does decent damage. You know, it's dealing one every 1.5 to every single monster. So if it's hitting four monsters, that's not bad damage. But we'll do another poison dart tower. Oh, most progress, least progress, highest HP, lowest HP, nearest, farthest. So at least for poison, you kind of want it to hit everything. Um, interesting. I feel like nearest is what I'll go with on that. Alright. Now our amazing is a little bit better, so hopefully that goes well. You, you can see the green bar is probably poison damage that has yet to be dealt. That's my guess. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, let's get our missile tower going. Boom. Noise. Now, I did say it only has a quarter of the effect, so it's not the biggest of deals to have a quarter of the effect, but in fact, that maybe was a bad strategy? I'm not really sure. But that's why we're here, to play and learn and have fun. Um... Hmm. Should have built that differently, I guess. I'd like to take advantage of that, but I'll need a certain. I'll need the reverse of the L tetromino. I'll need the reverse L to take advantage. But for now, we'll just keep keep mazing him this way. Um, I'll build another standard tower because that's all I can afford. Our rocket tower is pretty, pretty dope. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh my god. Uh, what do we got? So those are like one-time buffs. Damage up. Last 15 seconds. Mega rune. A mega block. This one seems nice. Lightning rune. I like a lightning. Oh, this is a five tile block. Okay, so that does imply that there are three tile blocks that exist. That wasn't a Tetromino, that was a Pintomino. Alright. Increase range on the lightning. Wow, wait, why so many treasure chests? Awesome. Um, I don't even know what to do. Take random ones. It's too many treasures. Whoa! Do you? I assume you have a maximum amount of cards you can hold in your hand at some point. Creates a poison boost tile. I will take that. Maybe right there. And then we can poison boost here, dealing extra damage, and then the fire rate becomes way more valuable as an upgrade. And then. Mm -hmm. And with that, damage and fire rate up. Okay, and I want to maze them. Now I probably want to maze around and over. So we'll do this and that to get started. And I have about a million one-time use so I could like stun enhance that tower. I think I see it stun once in a while. 
Maybe it only stuns the primary enemy, not all of the chain lightning hits. I don't know. Greater speed boost tile, yes please. There we go, now we're really getting... They've got a long journey to take. They've got a long way to go. A short time to get there. Okay, lightning, damage. Why not some more poison here? Already got the fire rate increased. We'll give it the damage. This one should be the highest HP. Because poison is going to be way more effective on higher HP enemies. Man, we are just melting this game. Oh, and I haven't even done my fire missiles upgrade for my awesome missile tower. Heck yeah. Easy game, easy life. Ice missiles, call it a day. I don't even need anything else. We'll do another highest HP poison tower, why not? Maybe not easy? Frost pulse? Does that do? When hitting a target, unleashed Frost Nova. Yeah, that's good. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, you can have... Five free scrap towers. I don't know what scrap towers are, but let's try that out. Chomp tower. Fights nearby monsters. <laughs> Dealing damage equal to 20% of the... Wow. Monster's current health, up to 50 extra damage. Okay, so that's not bad. Golden statue. Monsters that die within its range grant additional gold. Classic. You gotta be good positioning with that. Um, a brief stun. Cannot rotate. Let's do the hammer tower. Stunning sounds nice. Alright, so... Now I can get another talent. I'll do the tower upgrade costs. I think that'll add up to a ton of gold over the course of a, a level. Okay, so... This map, they all come from one direction. So we're gonna have to route them around. I kind of like the idea of that scrap tower being the first thing they encounter. So those do two damage every three seconds. It's not a lot, but it'll add up. It's not much, but it's honest work. Alright. Um, and at least for now... I think this is... We're gonna want to route them around. So, something like that seems good. And then I think a lightning tower is a good first choice, to be honest. So what does it do? Four damage. So that's up to 16 damage every three-fourths of a second. Yeah, that was easy. Also, those scrap towers definitely did some did some good work. Um, okay, what if I do that? Does it route around? It does. That seems decent. Um, we can take advantage of greater attack boost tile with maybe a missile tower eventually. What I'd like is to send it in and then route it back out. So this can't be the right tile. Um, maybe here for now. And 
Let's see, what do we want to do? We need a frosty tower at the beginning, as usual. Poison dart tower or two set to highest HP. Which you hit tab how many times? One, two. One, two times. And I think the extra range... So that's 80% more damage. This is only 50% more damage per second, you know, dealt. But I think the extra range will allow it to attack the enemies it needs to attack longer. So I think that'll be important. But you can't upgrade scrap towers. That's fine. They're doing, they're doing the work they need to do. I'm actually going to draw an extra card. No! Shoot. Oh, I can't force them in. Right, that's the thing about the forest. They can go around, but you can... Oh my. Wait, what? I can do way more amazing than I thought I could. So I could force them in by building around this way? That's actually kind of crazy. It's so crazy, it just might work. Or I guess you can force them in by just making that their best path. I didn't realize you could build all out here. This is awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, well I love that. Uh, Frost Tower with extra area, please? And extra damage? That'll actually do some, some, some good work there. Let's go ahead and start. I will do... Now, if I do a fire rate increase, I'm curious to see if it's 50% more than the boosted or just 50% more than the base. It is 50% more than the boosted. Wow. Okay. So we get a full three per second from those. So it does double. Ah, frick. No. Ugh. Our first leaks. Um, that's bad. I just need more damage, is the problem. Maybe poison's not as good as I thought. Anyway. Because the reason I'm doing all that is then I can start to maze like that, but I need to close this off first. So now that that's closed off, I can do stuff like this and get a lot of... a lot of damage in right there. Um... So space is kind of nice because it turns it to slow motion. And a good place for a stunning tower would be right here, I guess. Small monsters, deals extra damage, convert to electric. The 20% chance to attack three times in a row. I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, for now, we'll just keep keep mazing around here. So now this is going to be a prime location for towers. Um, I didn't leave any two by two spots, did I? Okay, there's our missile tower with frost. That's important, and. Honestly, I just need more damage, so we'll just give ourselves a little bit of a basic tower here. I am still curious if enemies have armor, because if they don't, then isn't that upgrade just always better? The, the one that does fire rate up? It feels like it's just always better. Um... Maybe I'm wrong. But if enemies never have armor, then all that matters is DPS. So they must have armor at some point. Otherwise, those upgrades wouldn't make any sense. Unless there are things that add flat damage, maybe. That could be it. Treasure chest. Um, arcane blast. Each time it fires, the tower launches an additional missile dealing three damage. Arcane damage will always critically hit monsters with more than 80% health. Interesting. But I like this tile right here. The 
W. Tetromino. Pentomino. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the, the numbers work exactly. We'll do a fire damage guy there. Uh, we've upgraded all those towers, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna build a few more of these guys. Highest HP, everybody. Thank you. What happened to my scrap towers? Oh, do they only last a certain amount of turns? That must be the case. I definitely didn't sell them. Interesting. It doesn't say that anywhere on here, but that must be how they work. All right, what do we got going on here? A Hornet King, five damage if it leaks. Still no, still no armor displayed anywhere. I'm still thinking it's gotta be a thing. Gotta be a thing. All right, more lightning damage. I think four targets. I think just damage and fire rate's gonna be better for most of these. Okay, speed boost, attack. I guess I need more frost. Here and here. Maybe some more stun. Range up. Image up. Why not? Give you a fireball. Is it shooting fireballs? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Damage up on my ice tower that shoots 15 targets. I haven't... I guess this would be a good position, but I need to uh, put the tower right there. For our stunner. Oh, that was the last stage. Woohoo! Sweet! Well, I'm loving this game so far. Holy crap. Uh, giant dice tower? The number you roll determines the attack rate of the tower. Ooh, that's fun. Directly pours concentrated venom onto passing enemy's head. Oh. I like that. Um. The damage taken in a level is three points or less. Recover one health point upon completing that level. All fire towers gain extra critical hit chance. That seems to be good. Burn effect deals damage equal to 1% of the max health every second. That's pretty good. Because I don't tend to build many towers close to the fire source. So, also, I haven't used ember stones yet. Am I missing something? Where do I spend ember stones? Is it here? Or is there a shop? There's the shop, aha, okay. Do not build any walls during battle phase. Uh, I pretty much don't do that. Receive no damage or complete the level without using missile tower and frost tower. No thanks, I don't wanna do that. When a poison monster takes electric damage, the poison tick rate is doubled for three seconds. That's actually decent, because then the poison gets consumed much faster. And we just got a poison tower. Alright, uh, I think I need to go to the shop, because we have all these ember stones. So. Okay, so you can buy more stuff. You can reroll. You can heal. I would like... Um, lightning ball tower. Ooh, that's pretty good. Fire's really slow, but if 
you can get him on a long straight path. Sniper towers are also pretty good. All fire element attacks have a 3% chance to apply burn. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Huh. I might do the spark amplifier. And sniper towers 40? Sure. Let's get the sniper tower. Awesome. Okay, we're almost at the boss level. We've got three options here. A corrupted battle. An altar. Offer ember stones to restore health or gain other enhancements. Oh, I just spent all my ember stones, so we're not going to do that. Um, can I get a talent? <clears throat> Starting gold increased? Sure, I'll take ten free gold. That will always... Always matter. Alright, our challenge is to not build walls during the battle phase. And... Okay, now this is an unfortunate... So this is the kind of harder map that I I always struggle with because now the enemies are actually coming from multiple directions and it's very difficult to funnel them all into a specific spot because if you funnel them all to here, these guys have a really short path. I guess I can maze out there a little bit. Um, and you can't block... Like, there's no way to send... Hmm. Um, yeah, that's not... I can't send people out. Interesting. Feels like mazing over here might be my best bet. Is that true? think so. I'll put that one there, and then we'll block off these other entrances. Okay. So that's a good start. And now we just have to build off of that. Problem being the enemies coming from this way, and this way aren't really being mazed very much. Uh, let's see. I will draw a card. Not really the tile we want. I don't think I'm gonna play it yet. So for now, lightning tower with extra damage, because we got 50 slimes. And another lightning tower, because we've got 50 slimes. <laughs> Sounds good. Towers should make quick work of mini slimes. Yep. As predicted. Okay. What do we got? Uh, greater speed. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna. I wanted another eye pentomino, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Because what we're gonna wanna do here is now maze around like this and then this yeah there we go that's what we need okay so now we're starting to actually connect connect the dots now can I Yep, I can do that. And that forces these bottom guys to go around further, which I think I'm going to want to do. Okay. Now... I'm going to do another lightning tower. I would like to do a poison tower. Maybe I should have done that there. Does it matter? Seems like it doesn't matter. Uh, why does that have an X on it? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I get it. 
It literally goes over the track. Okay. I thought it dumped on the side. Like, you would put it here and it would dump off sideways. Um, didn't even consider that. That's awesome. Okay. And we definitely want to slow enemies here. So we'll do you with extra range. So we can get everybody chilled. Oh, nice. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Cool, cool, cool. All right, sniper time. Um, I like the snipers, good over here. Obviously target highest HP, it automatically does that. Targets hit take 15% more damage for five seconds. That's super nice with uh, bosses. But I think, I think I'll just go with some basic upgrades here for our basic towers. Oh, it's just one-shotting the, the baddies. All right. Now I need straight pieces to be able to maze here. Go. Continuing the amazing amazing. You're slowing that whole area and you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Keep it up, my friend. At this point, what do I need more of? I've got single target damage covered, so I need more splashy splash. I need the missile launcher, I think, actually. I want the frost launcher. Frost Launcher is next. We'll get our missiles. I don't like how late this is to the party. I guess I can add another one right there. And then upgrade you to ice. And then just keep... So now we're at our limit for mazing, right? Like the guys coming from this way can't be mazed anymore. I can maze uh, these ones further. But I cannot maze the other ones anymore. These guys are kind of at their limit. I mean, I can always, like, redirect them slightly, you know, like that or something. Um, just to make them more. There we go. Get them poisoned on the entrance to this area. Nice is poison with lava causing immediate fire damage. Oh, that's pretty good. That would be pretty good. But let's do even more poison. I wonder how that works exactly. Oh, you can see their damage dealt. I just now noticed that. Or is that just this round? I think that's this round. That wouldn't make sense for it to be that low. I know it's done more than that. Um, heck yeah, let's just spray poison over the freaking entire map. Do it. Is everything upgraded? This one's not. Upgrade all the things. We are poisoning the heck out of everybody. And what's our bonus for poison? Oh, I don't have it yet. Wait, did I just- I just leaked? Wait, what just happened? I completely missed that. What? It looked like we were killing everything. The heck? Huh. I, like, was not looking, apparently. Not looking with my eyes. Hmm. What do I need? A stunner that I can't fit anywhere. could do more missiles. I've already got my frost missiles, so let's do fire missiles. And just more generic lightning damage towers, which is a good 
feel like a good mix between multi-target and single target. Sniper obviously has more single target DPS. Oh, and I should do that. Increase the damage even more. Oh, that's probably what it was. It was probably one of those enemies that dropped little enemies on death. That must have been what I missed. Um, I'm gonna do another sniper tower. This one with targets hit take extra damage. And then we need another frost tower somewhere just to make sure we got that area covered. Cool, cool, cool. We need frost tower up here. And the final wave, here we go. I think we're gonna be okay. We've got the whole area covered in frost. We've got sniper towers everywhere. Well, two of them. Forcing extra damage to be taken. Oh yeah, it was those little idiots. Frickin' crap, man. But we did it! Stage clear! Woohoo! I wonder what those gray... Amplify poison. We got our little reward. And what's what's that? Oh, I, I don't know what those two. That's saying it can be upgraded with two runes. That's what that means. Got it. Um. Sure, I'll take an extra card. Or is that just? Mm, maybe that's not good. Maybe that's just saying it will be one of the cards in your starting hand, not it will be added to your starting hand. I want lightning ball tower. Oh, it only has 30 ammo. That's how the scrap tower works. Ooh. Decimate tower, but it's a, a it's a plus shape, so it's really really big. But I want it. I want it. Now, didn't we already have 8 towers? Yeah, so now I have an extra tower. I'm really not using... I don't know. I'm not using the hammers very well, or the basics. I feel like I'm just doing lightnings instead of basics. There's no point. Basics have no purpose anymore, and we're gonna do the boss level, and then that will be the end of our first episode of Ember Ward. Oh boy. Feed it to progress to the next area. Quickly fortify your defenses and use the minecart to weaken the boss. The arrow tower guards will buy you some time to prepare. Attack power and range is doubled on those. Wow. Corrupted areas appear on the ground and you cannot build on them. Okay, minecarts. Build a tower on a minecart and it'll charge forward once the battle starts. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I definitely... Definitely want a lightning tower. And a frost tower to start. Poison tower seems a little weak. But, then again, all the one tile towers are kind of weak, so... We'll do one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I build over the mine tracks? No, you can't. So there's kind of, it's basically a hallway that the enemies are coming down. And so we have to maze within that. Somehow. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to maze back and forth making my own walls whilst doing it. Um, that, and then that, and that. Hmm. Alright. Let's try it. Um, 
Oh, they go in circles. I didn't fully understand that. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's get a regular tower. Hopefully we're not gonna lose. Okay, we're okay. Okay. Alright. So what is this? The dragon is slowly working its way forwards? I don't know how that works. Um... Oh, yeah, there's no way. Um, wait, I can maze. No, I can't go over the tracks ever. So, yeah, it's kind of a lost cause to maze over there. I think we need to focus on mazing in here. Now I need an eye tetromino. Oh, we got one. Oh, it's not long enough. Okay. So this is the main kill zone for now. Let's get a frost tower and another lightning tower. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Inferno Hydra, huh? Yikes. So, do you like gradually kill it over all of the turns? Is that how that's working? Not exactly sure. But I am gonna build a sniper tower. That's the one thing I do know. <sighs> I love a sniper tower. Oh, I should have built the poison door over that. You know, I still can. It might be worth selling that uh, tower. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Most progress. Oh, got it. Snoiped. Right, I'm going to upgrade that one. Damage. And I think I do need some extra poison on the highest HP guy, just to make sure we're doing something. Okay, I think that could be useful. An arcane rune. Oh, I don't have arcane towers, so never mind. What's that? Inspiration rune. Draw a card after placing this block, but the block is immediately locked. Dark grip. Grabs five monsters, sure. I don't know, I'm just taking stuff at this point. So we're gonna sell this tower, we're gonna make the poison doodad. I'm gonna change it to lava. Because we have a synergy with lava. It extends the burn duration when an electric tower attacks. So they should just stay burning. And we'll just make sure we have plenty of electric. Okay, there's the handful. So 10 cards is a full hand. Alright, so enemies are basically getting wrecked when they get here. Oh no, and the stun. I always forget about the stun. It ruins everything. We need towers in other spots. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! No! Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. We're gonna... Well, we're not lost yet. Okay. We need to seriously improve our chances. How? I don't know. More amazing? We have all these tiles. I should use them, right? Have tiles, we'll use.
Oh, 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 crap. We can't go around that way. Shoot. That's fine, I guess. Okay, I mean... Also, having these scrap towers is kind of like a few extra damage as a last resort. But this is a pretty decent spot. So, if I can get... Oh, I didn't notice that was fire towers only. I don't have any one-by-one -one fire towers, but electric... Slowing... Oh, and I forgot to build this thing. I just got it, and I haven't built it. And now I have nowhere I can build it. Sag. Um... Poison dart towers. Call that a day. Maybe I should upgrade their damage for once. I don't know. Oh, here comes the big baddie. I guess I want the extra damage taken on hit. Got cross tower more area. Uh, maybe I make a tower here. And there, so we're poisoning enemies that come along this this way. Ooh, speaking of poison, we'll do that. And then this thing will allow me to build the you-know-what tower. Aha! With an attack speed boost. A small boost, but a boost nonetheless. The monster has 300% poison tick rate. Heck yes. Yeah, let's see what that thing does. I mean, it's actually really good on the boss because extra poison tick rate works well. Oh god, he's coming. Oh lord, he's coming! Quick build, I don't know. Billions of poison towers. Yeah, we might do it. We might do it. Maybe? Uh oh. It's feeling a little sus. He's down to 400, 200, 100, 0. We got him. We did it. Woohoo! Yes. We did it. Oh, this game's sweet. Oh, it's like all the things you want from a tower defense. And like that was one run, perfect in one episode. And then, yeah, so that's that's one run. And now we have talents. And so these are a meta progression, it looks like. So you will, you do get more powerful over time as you get your talent tree full, right? And then now we can play Heroic, which is a harder difficulty. Which I guess the unlocks are per difficulty. Because on normal, we can now go to the Bone Desert. Sweet. Okay, well, I'm going to call that an episode. And I can highly recommend Ember Ward after at least the first hour of gameplay. I had a lot of fun. And I'll put a link to the Steam page in the About section below. Um, one thing I will add is if you'd like to join the Crydania Discord, there's a link down below. We have a lot of fun. We talk about lots of games. And so for those of you that are first timers to the channel, please check that out. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I am a full-time content creator and that is the best way to support me because uh, Google or Amazon doesn't get to keep most of the money like it is with subscriptions and stuff. So if you'd like to support me on Patreon, head over to patreon.com slash crydax. You can get your name in the credits and access to a special channel planning uh, team in the Discord. And I would love to see you guys over there. But of course, no pressure. You guys know what to do with your money the best. So thank you for considering and I will see you all in the next episode.